Dear friends and students, today we are going to be discuss dividend policy Walter model. Our website, let's learn. It's better to learn together. Being with me, thank you very much. Assumptions of Walter model. Retained earnings are the only source of financing investments in the firm. There is no external financing involved. The meaning of the first assumption is once we are going to be discuss about the Walter model, Walter says us that we are going to be reinvest the money or we are going to be invest money in the business only with the internal sources. There is no external source involved for boosting or reinvesting or investing in the business even for the new project or product. The second assumption, the cost of capital that is KE and the rate of return on investment are, are constant. That is, even new investment decisions are taken, the risk of the business remains same. So here again, what the Walter model suggests us, when we are going to be take any cost of capital or any return on investment, that is always constant. Means whatever is in first year, that would be continue for the further years as well. So another thing is there, what he said that business risk is remain same. So there is no business risk. If new investment either in product or in project will come, it will be give you same return either in cost of capital or in investment. The third assumption, the firm's remain life is endless. Means firm have perpetual life. Once business established, it will be for forever. So there is no closing down in the business. In continuation, Walter Model says that, number one, if R is greater than K, means required rate of return is equal to greater than cost of capital, the firm should retain all earning, it means zero payout ratio. This situation is showed growth situation of the firm. More explanation. If required rate of return is greater than cost of capital investment, it means it is showing as Walter model say that the firm is growing. So in the growing firm, he suggested that no need to distribute the dividend, whether to pay zero dividend and reinvest all money in your own business because this is the only source available for you. Assumption number two, if required rate of return is less than cost of capital, the firm should have 100% payout and zero retain earning. This situation showed the decline situation of the firm. It means vice versa than the first. The third one, if Required rate of return is equal to cost of capital. Firm is indifferent between the dividend and investment decision. So it means if R and K both are equal, means required rate of return and cost of capital both are equal, it is not going to be affect the company's value or share value. Got it? Now we are going for So what Walter give to us? Walter provide one formula. We can drive that formula and get to know that his, what he's make the assumption it is true or it is giving the same results or not. His formula is P is equal to D plus R in bracket E minus D divided by KE divided by whole formula with KE. Where, what is P? P is a market price of share. D is a dividend per share, R is a rate of return on investment, K is a cost of equity capital, and E is earning per share. Now we are going with the cases to identify or put the formula or we have to go for the assumption to get to know that what the results came on. Let us see. Case number one. Calculate the market value of ABC stock using Walter formula from the following information given below. Assume three different situations for ABC firm. So here we are taking one case as a ABC company or ABC firm. They are having three different situations. 
let us see the situations so number one is informations and options options means situation here the situation one is x company y or z in x situation suppose dividend payout ratio is 50 percent y situation or option dividend is 75 percent and in z situation or option dividend payment is 100 percent with the rate of return on the firm's investment either 15 percent in x situation y situation is 8 percent z situation is 10 percent market return on capital investment means cost of capital suppose 10 percent earning per share dollar 10 in this situation if we are going to observe that one thing is there because we are comparing degree between the required rate of return and cost of capital so cost of capital is k e that is 10 percent constant if we assume that rate of return either 15 percent or 8 percent or 10 percent so it means we are going to be discussed three situation as he assumed means r is greater than cost of capital means 15 is greater than 10 r is lower than cost of capital means y situation is less than cost of capital 10 and same as z situation is equal so let us see start to solve and get the values solution we will go for the option one means option x dividend payment ratio as I told you that R is 15% and K is equal to 10%. The meaning is R is greater than K. So if we pay 50% dividend, it means out of $10, we have to be pay $5 as a dividend payment. In this situation, if you drive the model given by Walter, so we get the value $125 market price of the share. Same as if you put 75%, meaning we are going to be paid dividend $7.5 out of 10 earning. In this situation, we get to know that after driving the formula, the dollar value of share price is 112.5. And if we are going to be put pay 100% dividend, means earning is $10, we are going to be paid $10. In this situation, company share price is $100. So we are discussing the option Y. Option Y, if dividend payment R is 8% and K is 10%, means the situation is R is less than K. So 50% dividend payment means $5, 75% means $7.5, 100 means full earning should be distributed as $10. So now if we'll drive the formula or model given by the Walter, we get to know that at 50%, the price value of share is 90 at 75 percent the price value of share is 95 at 100 percent it is maintaining the value same as 100 percent from the situation x or option x so here what we get to know that with the comparison of these two we get to know that 50 percent payment is going to be decrease your value and when you are going to be pay more dividend to the company your value is increasing and while you are paying 100 percent your value is at least maintaining in the market let's go for that. finally we have a z situation in that z situation dividend payout or payment ratio we assume that rate of return is 10 and cost of capital is 10 it means it is an equal situation market rate of return and cost of capital both are equal so in this situation, if we are going 50%, you can get to know that after driving the formula and putting the value, we get to know that the value is 100. I have 75%, also we get 100. At 100%, we get also 100. Then what is the conclusion? So we'll go get to know that what is the conclusion. So conclusion, the first, if R is greater than K, firm should be retained all earning. Simple decision. Number two, if R is less than k firm should be pay out all earnings if r is equal to k firm should not be concerned either distribute or retain it should be based on the investors requirement or firms need it means if firms don't want to retain the profit they can distribute among the shareholders or the investors 
if firms need for some further investment for new investment then firms can be retain some profit it is not going to be affect the share price at all now we'll go for the case 2 for more understanding here the case 2 is a firm expected earning dollar 5 per share firm's capitalization rate means cost of capital is 10% and the rate of return on investment is 16% find out the price per share using water formula if there is a two situation number 1 dividend payment is 50% number 2 or b is this means the situation a maximum value of share if not then what is the maximum value of share we will go for the solution and we will assume the same thing as water formula what the water formula we already very much aware now in the previous slides p is equal to dr in bracket e minus d divided by ke whole divided by ke now we are going to be directly assume the values from the previous formula what is e here earning per share they are mentioning dollar 5 then dividend if 50% dividend payment is there we will multiply it with 50% we get to know that dividend payment dollar 2.5 and what is the required rate of return as they mention r is 16% and cost of capital is 10% let us put this values in the walter model and we will get to know that the market value of the share is dollar 65 this is the first answer but the second answer this is the optimum maximum or final value let so no this is not the maximum value because of walter explanation if r is greater than k then firm should retain all earning in this case d should be zero but because in previous slide we paid 50% so it means it was not final so then what is the maximum value of share again we will derive the walter formula and we get to know that the final price of share is dollar 80 so we can say that this will be the maximum value of the share hope you understand we will go for the case 3 for more understanding find out the market value of share using walter formula from the following information given below suppose earning is given to you 3 million dividend paid 1 million outstanding stock 200000 capitalization rate 10% rate of return on investment 12% write your view as a financial analysis now you are expert you are financial analyst that do you satisfy with the firm's depend dividend payment policy if not what is your advice we will put the walter formula drive the formula as the same we have to be first identify what is the earning e is as we will drive we get to know that dollar 15 per share d is we get to know that dollar 5 per share explanation is over there you can get to know r is mentioned in the situation or case dollar point sorry 12% and ke is 10% so let us drive the formula after driving the formula we get to know that the value of share is 170 again the question is there this is the maximum value as we know that here when we compare by observing r and k if we are getting the 12% and 10% we can simply observe that r is greater than k and r and greater than k means what is said that if r is greater than k then you should not pay dividend and here you are paying dividend even one third so it means it cannot be the maximum value of market value of the share maximum value again we will drive the same formula it means present dividend policy is not satisfactory because walter explanation if r is greater than k then firm should be retain all earnings in this case d should be zero so p is equal to we will drive the formula and we get to know that at the end dollar 180 not 170 so this will be the maximum value thank you very much for with me i hope you have to be with the three cases you will get to know that many things this is not going to be end here you can like my video and if you have any questions any personal comment you can use my email id and uh, we have to be continue 
with this next model is gotten so don't forget to see my next video thank you very much